Okay, this is lesson one in the Lead for Change um, leadership curriculum, Be Your Best Self. So at the conclusion of this lesson, students will reflect on their lives and determine important moments that have helped to shape who they are today, identify characteristics or qualities about who they are today, and define what they want to become in the future, identify and explore the single biggest thing they can imagine that will help them to grow and change. So let's go ahead and click the link and this will open the handout. Um, and let's go ahead and, and take a look here. The Lead for Change Student Leadership Program is a unique program that teaches leadership collaboration and project planning while allowing students um, to design and implement a service project that will improve their school, local area, or global community, which is what we're all about in FBLA. A Lead for Change team is defined as three or more students and an adult leader. Um, you're welcome to include others on your team as you wish. Um, okay, by taking people with you, a lot can be accomplished and the leadership story can be shared in the final challenge submission. Um, here's an intro to this lesson. It can be hard to be ourselves because we don't always know exactly who we are. This is especially true when we face big changes in our lives. It takes self-awareness, insight, um, and reflection to learn, to really learn who we are and to become comfortable and confident with that information. These are tools that strong leaders use to learn from their past and to create a vision for their future. Take a few moments to complete these steps that will help you to know yourself better. So let's watch this uh, video first before we get started. I'd like to kick off this first lesson, Be Your Best Self, with a story. You know, one of the things I get to do is I get to meet some really interesting people. And I've gotten to know over the years a person by the name of Warren Buffett, who's the world's most famous. And I asked him once, I said, what do you look for when you look for people that you hire? And he said, you know, I look for people who are in love with this painting, but it's not finished yet. And I thought about that. What really makes a great painting? Well, what makes a great painting is when you're a masterpiece, because there's nothing else like it. And the one thing I know is that when you look at yourself, there's no one like you. No one has your DNA. Your DNA is unlike anybody else's in the world. No one can be like you. You are an original. So think about that. And the big thing that you can do as a leader is you got to be authentic. you got to be yourself, and you got to be your best self. Now, one of the ways to really understand yourself is to look back over your life and think about the, the things that have really affected you over time. And we have this exercise called the Lifeline Exercise, where you really chart the ups and downs in life and all the experiences that you've had. For example, when I was growing up, I grew up in a trailer. The biggest house I ever lived in by the time I was in eighth grade was eight foot wide by 40 feet long. That's how big it was for five people. And we traveled, and I lived in 23 states until I got into seventh grade. And I have to tell you, this was a big life experience for me. I had to go into new schools, register, and my mom used to say, Hey, David, make some friends because we're leaving. And it really taught me how important it was to, to really get to know people and make friends and make the right friends. But anyway, I've had lots of experiences over time that make me look at myself and understand how I've gotten to where I am today. So take a look at your life, examine what you've done, who's had impact in your life, and learn how what you are today, and also then say, okay, how can I be even better? Because being self-aware is the key to leadership, and it's the key to being your best self. So let's get on with it. Okay, so that leads us into activity one. Okay, so um, here are the directions. Uh, you're going to make your lifeline. Uh, pick key events and experiences in your life. Examples include victories achieved, challenges faced, fears overcome, stands taken, and lessons learned. You get to choose the experiences that have shaped you. Um, it could be anything, achieving a goal, making a new friend, receiving an award, traveling with your family, completing a project, joining a team, losing a championship, or graduating to the next level. Place these events on your lifeline in the order in which they happened. Put happy or good things above the line and sad or bad things below the line. Place them higher or lower to show how you felt about them at the time. You are shaped from both the highs and the lows in your life. An experience that made you very happy should be higher on your lifeline, while something that was sad should be lower. 
Then connect the dots. When you are finished, draw a line that connects the events by the date they happened. Add notes or pictures to make it more personal. So here's David's lifeline, and we can zoom in to see it better, okay? Um, I could tell you some things that maybe I would put in my lifeline when I was your age. Um, I can remember when I was in uh, seventh grade, I went and stayed with my cousin all the way in Maquoketa, Iowa <laughs> for a week, and I went to basketball camp, and I knew at Maquoketa High School, I knew nobody there. My my cousin didn't go with, she didn't play basketball, um, and so that was uh, life-changing for me. It made me get out of my shell. Um, I can remember my uncle, two of my uncles were killed in horrible accidents um, when I was in eighth grade. You know, those would be things that would be put on the lower end, and those are days I won't ever forget in my life. Um, I can also remember when I got to high school and I ran for um, uh, student council, and I had to get out of my comfort zone and give a speech, and I was a very quiet and shy uh, person in high school, and uh, that was a big deal to me and very scary. Um, and I was also on a volleyball team that participated in the Iowa games. Um, and we went and stayed in Ames for a long weekend as a team. And that was a real learning experience for me. I also attended uh, Horizon, or, uh, Business Horizons um, in Des Moines. And I only knew one other person. And the roommate I had actually um, was from another school that I didn't even know. And we became good friends. So there's, um, those are all things that happened to me while I was in high school. So maybe you can think of some also, um, another one, you know, I was on the basketball team and I always wondered why I didn't get as much playing time as my, uh, friends and my parents always told me that maybe you need to work harder. Um, and so that was challenging for me. So those would be some things I would include here. Um, so go ahead and, and, uh, pause this video make your lifeline and what i'd like for you to do um, after you're done drawing it take a picture of it come back to our classroom and if you feel comfortable enough in the comments for this lesson uh, upload the picture um, and then come back to this later and see what the other officers and other team members posted and comment on their timelines Okay, so now you should have finished doing the lifeline uh, activity. So in the lifeline activity, you zoomed out and looked at your life history as a whole. Now we will zoom in and look inside ourselves to change who we are today and how we can become better as we grow and change. When we begin lesson two, you will share and use your unique strengths and skills and interests as you begin to create your lead for change project with your team. So we're looking at um, activity two now. Um, identifying qualities and characteristics that describe who you are today and using that knowledge to define who you want to become in the future will help you identify areas for personal growth and improvement. Leaders are always reflecting on their strengths and working to grow those characters to move forward in their journey. You don't have to... Um, Use a three by five index card, unless you want to, just do it on a piece of paper, or if you have this printout, go ahead and do it on this printout, or just type it in here, um, and then take a screenshot of this. But um, create a chart like the one below, or use this one. On the left side of the index card, write four or five words that describe you, such as strengths you possess. For each word or phrase you write down, on the right side of the chart, um, write away to even be, be even better in the future. So what am I today? What are five words or phrases that people would go use to describe you? Be honest. So what am I today? You know, maybe some examples that I might put um, right here. I'm passionate about what I do. I love my job. I, I love being a teacher. I love being an advisor. Um, I'm, well, I'm not very creative, but I am organized. Okay, and anyway, these, these are some of David's examples. And then how can I be even better with this tomorrow? Um, don't overwhelm or intimidate others. I can do that as a FBLA advisor. I get all excited and I just think everybody else is too. And sometimes it's a bit much for some people. <laughs> um, but, you know, think about what you can do uh, to improve on these strengths. So uh, pause this video now and fill this in. And... Uh, 
you'll want to take a screenshot of it. Um, you can try to save it, and if you are going to save it by typing in here, you're going to want to go print, and for destination, you're going to put save as a PDF. Okay, and then every time you uh, make changes to this and add more, you'll want to save over top of it. So pause the video and go ahead and, and do activity two. Okay, so now you've finished activity two and we're ready to move on to the last one for this lesson. Um, now that you've defined some of your unique qualities and you have identified areas for growth to become even better, it's time to reflect on the lessons learned from these activities. Great leaders take the time to regularly reflect on their lives in order to gain greater self-awareness. As you respond to the three big questions, think about how you can make big things happen in your life. Know that this is just the start of big thinking as we prepare to create big goals for our Lead for Change projects in future lessons. Being, knowing, and growing yourself is the first step. So for activity three, three big questions. Think about the key events that have influenced who you are today and about the specific ways you can become even better tomorrow. It's time to make big things happen in your life. Read the three big questions below and record your thoughts. Asking these questions will help you set big goals and the first job of a successful leader is to have a good idea of where you want to lead people. So what's the single biggest thing you can imagine that will help you grow or change your life? So one thing that I might put there is uh, to get out of my comfort zone. Um, that's where the learning happens and that's where you grow. So what could I do this school year or with this project to help me get out of my comfort zone? I can do things that uh, normally scare me like uh, taking on a leadership role, taking on responsibilities, uh, maybe um, speaking, you know, to the whole chapter about the project and inviting people to um, participate. And that can be scary because you're worried, worried about being rejected. Um, that happens, but put yourself out there. Uh, be a leader. So what, what are some of the single biggest things that you can imagine that will help you grow or to change your life? Try to list three. The next one, um, who do you need to affect, influence, or take with you to be successful? So my answer to that would be you guys, all of you guys, my students, my officers, everybody. Um, and then the third question, what perceptions, habits, or beliefs do you need to build, change, or reinforce to reach your goals? Um, I guess I just need to have self-confidence. Um, knowing that I can, I can do this, I can achieve this if I just do a little bit each day to accomplish my goals, I know my goals will become accomplished. Um, so it says here for the tip, uh, create a shared digital folder to upload completed work essential for submission. Um, see the lesson six checklist. Don't worry about that now, but include photos and other statements that can be used for final reflections. This will ease the uploading process for the challenge entry. Okay, so what you can do there, actually what I'd like for you to do, is go to your Google Drive and create a new folder and name it Lead for Change Project and then put what you are your committee president or whatever create okay so then now that's in my Google Drive um, and here you know type in your responses do the print save as a PDF save um, and you could even just save it to your downloads like this um, I would name it lead for change lesson one completed save okay and then now go to that go to your drive and click double click that folder to open it and then now do um, new um, and file upload and I had saved it in my downloads I'll upload that Okay, and then now what I'd like for you to do, click the folder, the actual folder, share, and share it with me.
okay? Uh, and then that's after you're all done uh, with this. So, you know, we, we're going to do this. So what? Um, an important step in interacting with others is getting to know yourself. As you navigate through life, you will work on many teams. From school projects to teams, once you begin a career, all will require strong interpersonal skills. Looking back on your experiences will help you identify your strengths and weaknesses so you can best contribute to the team. What do you need to do now? Turn in your lifeline. Um, I instructed you on how to do that before, but just take a picture of it and upload it here to class comments. If you don't want to share it with the, with the class, um, then just put it in the folder like I just showed you on uh, Drive. Okay, and just make sure you share the folder with me. Um, and then answer to the three big questions. So that's, you know, you saved, um, you answered them here and then you print it as a PDF and you put it in your folder um, in Google Drive for Lead for Change. So then um, just uh, share that folder with me. Um, 